Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. To create this project, you're going to need a branch of any size that you wish. Next, you're gonna need a flower pot, and the size of this flower pot depends upon the size branch that you're gonna be using. For this step, I'm gonna take some dirt and fill it into the flower pot. Now you have lots of choices of things that you could use for this step. So some examples might be some rocks or maybe you want to use concrete to hold things steady. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling this up and we'll move on to the next step. But just wanted you to know there's lots of possibilities. You don't just have to use dirt if you don't want. So here's what the branch in the flower pot looks like so far. So you could leave these tree branches in their natural state or you could spray paint them black. You can either leave that tree branch as is or I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum black paint to spray paint the branch. And again, whatever your choice is, is up to you. And I like to cover the bottom of the flower pot and do this upright versus you could easily do the opposite and lay it down and then put it in the pot afterwards. But I find it's easier to hit the angles of the tree if I do it this way instead of laying it down and then flipping it. So I'll go ahead and finish spray painting this tree and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Here's the tree branch all done and I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry before I move on to the next step. I'll be using my hot glue gun and some faux leaves for the next step. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some hot glue to the fake leaves and then I'm gonna place them on the branches and wait for the hot glue to cool. And you can have a little fun with this, you know, twisting them this way and that and remember that you can add more than one leaf to a branch. You can leave some of them plain because it is fall. And so you may not want leaves on every single branch. So have fun like putting more than one or less. And then I'll talk to, talk to you about some other fun things you can do with this concept. So I'll go ahead and keep gluing these on and show you what it looks like. So I've glued a lot of leaves on. You could also use some natural leaves if you wanted and put those on your tree. They'll dry up over time, but it looks natural if you like that look too. Now for some added fun, I'm gonna hot glue the leaf. And then I'm gonna, it's a little hard to see, but I'm gonna take a little fish line and put it in the glue. And now that it's hardened, I have taken and put a little hot glue on the branch. And now I'm going to put the fish line into the hot glue. And it gives the illusion of a falling leaf, as you can see. So it just adds a little fun to your tree. So here's a look at the tree so far with all the leaves on it. Okay, so our above tree is all done. But I'm gonna add one more thing. I found these leaf LED little lights at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna add these just for some fun to the tree. So let's talk a little bit more about this tree. So you could leave the branch normal in all natural tone and then put the leaves on it. And then you could just stop there. You could spray paint it black, add the leaves as I did, and then when we get to Halloween, pull the leaves off and you have a Halloween tree. If you wanna see what that looks like, I have that tutorial on my blog as well. So you can see what the Halloween tree looks like. But basically it's an all back black stark branch with no leaves on it. And then I usually add purple lights to it. So this is great. The kids love it. We put it on our front porch a lot of times to greet our trick or treaters. Um, our house has been called Epic partly because of the fun decorations we have that are not scary. And we also hand out glow sticks and Charlie Brown rocks 
and so they always look forward to finding um, to getting their their treats at our house so that always makes my day so let's go put this inside and see what it looks like here's our tree branch on display and I'm really happy with how it turned out I hope this inspires you to make a tree of your own from a branch again I'm Chas from Chas's crazy creations thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.